We're getting off the ship today in Punta Delgada Azores, or Azores. Um, of course, we're on the Enchanted Princess, and you have to wear a mask to get off, but I think we don't have to wear a mask anymore, maybe here in the terminal building. And that's the Enchanted Princess right there. Let's put that mask back on and see what happens. When you get off, there's maps available. There's that you can take a picture of. There's more maps. It's a terminal building. I guess they have ferries and whatnot come through here. And automatic doors, right? Right. So, and then a revolving door. Or you can just go out the doors that are open. There's a little shop right here where you can pick things up. If you're looking for something, they got chips too and sardines. Yum. And that's it. Ponte Delgado. Over there is the public swimming area. You can walk along there, you can go down those steps there and in, into the ocean. And that wall inside there's a big pool i think you might have to pay to go in the pool but there's some shops and restaurants along here of course there's the ship and there's a burger king now you're excited anyway we're just gonna take a little stroll through town see what there is to see well we walked from the ship like I said, little stores, little restaurants, travel agency. You can go out that way along the waterfront. You can go upstairs right there to get up on top, or you can go up this long ramp, which is what we're gonna do. There's a church we saw from the ship up there that looked kind of interesting. We're gonna head for that, and then we're gonna maybe visit some botanical gardens. So we're walking up the ramp, and that's where you can go in the ocean water. And it looks like there's some people scuba diving maybe out there. I see tanks and I see bubbles, right? But you can go swimming there. Those steps are slippery though. They're covered with uh, moss or seaweed. The public pool, which is that, looks closed because I think it's empty. So I'm assuming it's closed. But there's these handy signs. I guess they're not that handy. And I guess he doesn't want any cars coming through here. So here we are. On the main drag. City Hall is that way and to the right a little bit. And this is a bicycle lane. See that? So don't walk on there. Rent a car, grab and go food. And Janet. Hi. We're going to take this uh, bridge across the road. There's crosswalks there, though. But we couldn't get any further that way. We had to go downstairs, and now we're going to work our way down here. So I guess we could have just used the crosswalk. The road's not that busy. We had to come up some steps. You're going to see murals painted on the walls. That's a whale, I think. I'm not sure what that is. But we're going to head up to the right here, I think. Found that building. I think it's for sale. Found the guy doing the trash. A lot of roads going all different ways, but we're trying to get right there. So I think we're going to head off up that road, Janet says. Did you see her? She says, Go that way, young man. This one up here, it's a bunch of one-way roads. And they are busy. Ah. Busy, busy, busy. This road, people are parked along it. It's one way, luckily, but it's a pretty tight fit. Skinny little sidewalk. All made out of cobblestone. And homes. That guy's got a great road of this. But you see how close they're getting to us. <laughs> Came to a crossroads. 
I don't know the Lintz? Lintz? We decided to turn left because there's a crosswalk. I think we're going to go down there and then go up more. Sort of a zigzaggy route in that car. Look at this. I'm walking for a long way up this street now. And I think we're going to go to that church right there. <laughs> we tried, so we came up that road. There's a church there. Um, you should know that they park on the sidewalk sometimes. So, I've even seen them up on here. But we're going to walk up this alley once this guy zooms past. So this is a pretty steep uphill made of cobblestones, like, well, rocks actually. You can see where we came from. A little construction going on up here. And here we are, sort of. And that is me breathing hard a little bit. So oh, let's go up there. So there's some steps up. grass. That's weird. Well, that's some sort of airplane. There's, There's our the ship. ship. Kind of look across the whole town from here. This place is closed up. And it's got a fair amount of trash here. I don't know if it all blew here or people are living here or what. It does have this to tell you what everything yeah, it's is. In English. So hey. Azor. There's a lot of racket coming up here, like a carnival or a sporting event or something. You hear that? Ah, just that. But we're going to head on, onward. I think we're going up to those trees up there. Now you hear it. Down from the church, back to the road we were on originally. And, um, we have found some sort of a carnival or something, the source of the noise. In a forest with some sort of tree. Now, a lot of people coming and going. Walk up here at least and see what's going on. These are new cars being advertised, I believe. Sponsors, maybe. And there's where you get your pineapple. Bom Sumo. Remember, the Azores are known for their pineapple. And maybe several games at once. Oh, beer. And music, so we gotta get out of here, right? Sagres. Important soccer match or playoffs or something. But I want you to see that they've planted some little pineapples here. So that's the Azorian pineapple. There's more out here. And there's the root. Anyway. So it's the different stages. We're going to move on. Well, that's the uh, soccer tournament. And these are the trees. I see birds up in them. Some big birds. I see a starting line up there. They must be having a, um, a run also. Something. Anyway, but the gate's closed, so. 
We're going to continue. Apparently, this is the University of the Azores. And Janet's showing me a sign for some reason. No entry to unauthorized visitors. Huh. I guess that's the reason. So there's chickens over there by the pond. See that big black rooster? He's looking at himself in the water, in the reflection. And he's going for a drink. He's going for a drink. There he goes. Anyway, we're going to move on out. They're excited. Hi. This is the first graffiti I've seen. Don't know what it means. Vandal, maybe? Notice the sidewalk. That's pretty mosaic. Sometimes the sidewalk is very narrow, and the cars are right there. Straight, the soccer thing was up there on the left. There's this building we came across, and then this one flying these flags. And this place here. Casa de Ura Sound. Okay. We're going to turn right here in a little bit, maybe right here. So we've come to this building and an actual traffic light. See that? Cross, crossing symbols, don't cross symbols. Little store playing loud music. This place. Carlos Machado. Do you? So we walked into the courtyard of the museum. And there's a door open here. Now you might want to look at the tile work on here. And another traffic signal. We are going to make a right. Right up here. <laughs> We're in a big open area now, obviously. Um, the botanical gardens are up there. So we're going to head up that way. Uh, that looks like a library. And there's some sort of official building there. It's got flags. Flag of the European Union. Carlos Machado Museum, apparently. I'm going to go up this way, though. And go up where those cars are and make another right. I said I think this is a library, but it looks closed since there's bars across it. Or at least this entrance. So we're turning the corner here. And uh, a nice tree lined street. Of course, spring is busting out all over. The middle of April. And we're gonna walk up this. I think these are people's homes. And this is their personal banana plantation. And I believe that's Janet. And I think that's the botanical garden straight ahead of us. Past that white wall. So I believe we've been on Avenida Gaspar Frutuosa. I don't know though, but we're at the top of it. Um, and it's a busy road here, which we're gonna run across. Hurry. And I'm at least gonna stick my camera in here. Well, I see people walking in there, so you must be able to get in. So let's go. Up there. So 
so this looks like an entrance and I don't know whether they charge I'm guessing they do we'll see oh here's a sign two euros oh one euro for old folk <laughs> all right so we were seniors we got in for a euro a piece they gave us a cool map he said the palace of the president is up here don't go near it <laughs> but anyway so this is it uh, this is the presidential palace garden Anyway, it's got a map. Stay on the white. Oh, that must be it. Red and white up through the trees there. Now I imagine we're going to go up and come out the same way we came in. So we'll go around and come down that way. Came up the windy road here. There's the lake. That's, I guess, the presidential palace. We're gonna go on up and around and come down on the other side. I just don't want you to go in front of it, I guess. They keep it up pretty well, though. Not sure what we're coming to up here. Something white. Greenhouses. I think. Um these are gardens or something up here. It says there's a bathroom up here. This is pretty steep right here though. You should know. It's pretty steep. I mean we've been going uphill the whole way. Which means back to the ship is downhill. This is uh, gardens. There's a rose section and a herb section and coffee bean section. Um, greenhouses up there. Look at how tall that wisteria it climbed a tree up there. See that? And then if I turn around here, of course, there's the presidential palace. But they don't want us to go there. So we're going to go around this way. I think that's the presidential garage. Somebody's garden. And I'm guessing greenhouses. And more. Oh, look at this. Uh, they got some stepping stones, but whoa. <laughs> and low-hanging branches. Wisteria? Does that look like wisteria to you? Full of bees? Can you see the lizards there? They're all the way down the wall, too. See them? Hang on. I'm looking at them here. They're so still, because they think I won't notice them. So anyway, I have restrooms up here. Super private. <laughs> okay, so there's your own. We're up there in the garden. And here's the presidential palace. And they tell us not to walk right in front of it, but down here instead. But Janet's yelling something at me, so I'm going to have to stop here when I get to the middle. But you should see what we got here. More gardens. Although they need to plant some more, don't they?
Right up there, that's what I called a garage, and I really think it is. Of course, this is the palace. The map says, the map they gave us says, don't walk along there, walk around where we're at instead. And Janet found this, and she thinks it's beautiful. It's not this place, but it could be. And it has a pond. That water is clear, but it's deep. It's like a couple feet down. The greenhouses were up behind the palace there. We came around here. The map shows we're supposed to go that way, right there. And I don't think we can go that way. Unless we cut off around there. But instead, we're going to go this way. Notice there is a lot more garden here. A lot more to see. Like a giant bird of paradise. That is a giant, giant bird of paradise. Anyway, there's the pond. So we're kind of back to the entrance. And this is a very pretty place. Very nice. Actually, I'd like to get into the palace and see him inside. For my Euro, I should have a tour of the palace, huh? So we were just in there. It's where the presidential palace is. It's a botanical garden. And um, there's another one straight ahead, three or four blocks, which we've been to before, and I put it in the video before. But we're going to stroll through there because you can walk through it and back to the ship, see? So Janet says it would be fun, and you should see it. It's cool. So. so that means we made a right when we left the presidential palace. And there's the flags. Flying. There's a plane coming in for a landing. Because the airport is right there. This was that tree-lined street that we walked up. At least at the end and I don't know if we are in Rua de San Joaquin and that was Frutuoso but we're gonna head straight ahead and this might be the police station I'm not sure um, you gotta be careful on these cobblestone sidewalks though I mean they're Pretty smooth, pretty nice to walk on, but every so often one of these little rocks is turned up. And there's a hole in a rock. So, it's full of these kind of buildings. I think they're made with, you know, rock cut from the cliffs around here. And there's a little uh, building. I think that's a cemetery. Well, gas is only a dollar sixty-seven. That's probably a liter. So six dollars a liter or six dollars a gallon, give or take. And this is the uh, junkyard. Well, I call it a junkyard. One man's trash is another man's treasure, right? Look at the roofs on these things. The residential palace was down there a couple of blocks. And we passed that cemetery. And we've come to an area where everything is sort of new. And like I said, gas is about $6 a gallon, maybe as much as 8 euros. Which would mean another dollar. A lot of, a lot of intersections here. And the time is 12.38. And that's exactly what I have. I'm walking down that road. The gas station's right there. See the green lights? And there's this very modern area here. And I believe that might be a high school right there. And I believe the botanical gardens are just around the bend here. So that was what I called the 
the modern buildings and that's what I called the high school and this is what I call the bo botanical garden. And so we could go one of three paths. We'll choose the middle for now. It gets very lush down in here. Big trees, some little caves and stuff. Look at those flowers in the back there. So there's a little fort or whatever you can go up there. See that? Do you want to go? Janet says, let's go. This is one of the little caves I was talking about. See that? Goes right through. Here's another one. I didn't say they weren't man-made. Because that's a prison. I'm joking. Here we are. Got your gun holes. Put your can in there. Blow up cruise ships, whatever. Look out across. That flat area right there, that's the airport. I don't know if you'd call it the end or the beginning, but it's the airport. That's pretty far down. You can see it gets pretty lush down there. I think we should go down there. Of course we were up there. Let's go through this cave. Watch out for the stick and the cigarette butts. Yeah, it only goes that far. And then we're out. There's another one. Way down there is a pond. So. Lots of little caves. Let's move on down this road. Came down that path. We hear a lot of things making noise here. We're gonna see if we can find something. I think that's frogs. Do you see him jumping? I do, I see. There's a little frog right straight ahead, right above that plant, just sitting there in the water, and another one up above him. I know it's hard to see, but it is. See him on the shore there? They're going to jump in. Oh. No, they're not jumping in. I'm going to try to enlarge that for you. Oh, there, see? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You find the strangest things in the botanical garden. Ray and Carol from Hollywood, Florida. So there's some stairs there, and they lead down to this path. And there's more stairs there, and then there's those caves. They're not very deep, though. They're not very deep. But you're welcome to go down there. We're not. There's some stairs going up. And I believe there's also stairs going down into another hole here. So the place is full of them. And caves. See that? You can go down there. Um, you can sit on that bench, I guess. See? Stairs down. Let me go down here a little bit. Of course, that's a prison. I made that up. I guess they just don't want you to go in there. And you go along here, and now I'm inside, or under the bridge. And more, more of the same. Got a tree growing there. So 
So that's a way out, and I'm going to take it. And that brings us to this giant tree. So that's the really big tree with the really big roots. We've gone uphill a little bit now. And we're going to turn and go back down. And we're hoping there's an exit down here or entrance. I see a playground. So there's some Missourian chickens. They are all roosters. <laughs> I guess that's not much fun for them. I'm thinking this one doesn't get along with those two guys. Janet's going to go pet him. Janet's going to go pet him. Well, it looks like you could get out there, but in fact, you can't. There is a playground, and I see some bicycles parked there. So maybe get out here. And a statue. These gardens are named after somebody. I'm going to guess it's him. Looks like it might be a place to buy food in there and um, bathrooms. Or just a place for picnic and bathroom. Janet would like to go up there and look. So there is the playground. Another pond. And maybe bathrooms. Looks like you could buy food here though. And eat or drinks. That door right there is the men's restroom. See the little symbol up above it in metal cut out? And the ladies is right over there. Can't this one in it. And that looks like food, so over there is the ladies. And of course they sell food and drinks here. There's the statue, there's the playground, the bathrooms are right through that bamboo. Um, it has hours. And a gate to get out. So we're going to go right here, Janet says because there's a supermercado right there. That's a supermarket. And we're gonna see what they have in there. We're actually looking for some Azorian hot sauce. And this is the supermercado. And they're in a hurry. So this was the supermercado. That's the botanical garden. And we are going to head left down this road here. And I think if we follow it all the way, we'll be back at the water. The ship is over that way, though. Still walking down that same street. Kind of angles off towards the dock. Although it doesn't go to the dock, obviously. But when you pass somebody, on the sidewalk, someone's got to go out in the road, so be careful. Here's a building that's not looking so good. It used to be Popolaria Vittoria. But it's all caved in there. Maybe a fire? Well, we've come to a little square. And there's a little train going by. And they're all masked up. Well, they aren't. Some of them were. And some nice little places to walk around. So once these cars all go by, and then an app for McDonald's. Comes another car. He's turning. 
So let's go. See what's up. Restaurants. Waiting for people. Flowers. Um, whoop. We came from right up there. I would say this is a pedestrian walkway, except for that car parked there, but there is the paint store. But it's an area of little shops and restaurants. And a charming house. Is this a hotel, maybe? We came from way up there. This is the pedestrian area with the restaurants. And we hit a crossroads here and it goes all the way down there. Goes straight ahead. Goes all the way back there. Let's go that way. SLP Youth. Not sure what that large blue building is. They're flying the flags. More restaurants. Little bench. I think we're rigged up here for Easter. I'm going to stop here for a second. Then we decided to turn and go this way instead. So you might say we took a right after we came down from the Botanical Garden. And it's more of the same, but I think if we go out here, we can see a fort, an old fort that used to be here. Nice big square here. Apparently cars are allowed in here. But there's the fort over there. So we can walk around it. And of course here's a church behind us. And some Trim trees. So we've just come from up there, right? And that's the fort. And there's also the statue. The immigrants. So we're going to head over to the crosswalk here. There's the celebrity silhouette, and there's the enchanted princess. So we're back at the water, of course. Those crazy cruise ships. And there's the fort. Oh, they've got a cannon right out in front to play with. Let's go check it out. So we're gonna walk right in there, see what happens. Ticket office. Ticket office. They're closed until two. So we decided to walk around to the front of it here, or the side of it, just to get a look at the port. And then we're going to head on back to the ship. Uh oh, there it is. And there's the horn, and the other horn. Well, there's the fort. Some big building inside it, probably a museum, military museum, it said. And there's some little fishing boats here. And, of course, the cruise ships. So we're just going to go straight along here, back to the ship, you would say. Unfortunately, the museum is closed from 12 to 2 for lunch. So, we're not going to wait around. We're going to go have lunch. <laughs> now, we're up here. You could also walk down along there back to the ship. Right? We're on the high road. That's the low road. Um, lots of restaurants and places. You could just walk up and down this when you're here, not go up like we did. That's the city gates, you might call it. And a statue. Big church right there. City Hall, I believe, is right around that corner. Let's check out the gate. So there we are 
crossing through the gate. That narrow building there used to be City Hall anyway, so I'm going to guess it still is. Big cathedral right there. Looks like it's closed today. Getting ready for Easter. A lot of construction going on. Got some ships there in the harbor. So this is Hollywood Boulevard, of course. <laughs> no, it isn't. This is a guy playing music or talking about it. White phone booth, minus the phone. Little square of food places. Big cathedral. With a clock tower. Uh, I guess that's the right time. Ten to two. We're gonna go around here to the right. Walk down that street and then back to the ship. Cheese shop to buy some hot sauce. See the wheels of cheese up there? Not to mention all the cheese in the glass case. The main square was right down there. And here's a little tunnel. Thought you might want to see some of this. Apparently they burn candles up there. So there's a lot of writing on these walls. A lot of writing. And drawing. Look at this. So we came down the tunnel and put the artwork on the walls and well there's the ship. Go figure. Now all we gotta do is get safely across that street. So it's me, Gareth. And Janet. And we're saying Port Monkeys out. Goodbye from Punta Delgada Azores. And see you in the next port. Bye. Bye.